Hi everyone, Danny's DIY Shit here. Welcome to the first video in our series of how to install your own GRP roof from CRS, Composite Roof Supplies. In this first video, we're gonna be taking you through the material and tools that we need to complete the job. So what we have here is our 450 gram rated chop strand fiberglass matting. It also comes in a super light 300 gram and a heavy duty 600. It comes in widths of one meter up to lengths of 22 meters per roll. This is what is gonna be used to cover the entire surface of our roofing system in conjunction with our resin. Talking of resin, here it is. We have 40 kilos of resin for this specific project and our associated catalyst. Now the catalyst is gonna be mixed in at a ratio of between one and 3%. Now that gives you a range because it depends on temperature. So check the label on the catalyst to make sure you're doing the right percentage to your resin. Okay, so let's talk about all the extra tools that we get with this kit. First off, we get acetone. Now acetone is what you're gonna to use to clean the resin off your brush and tools. This will strip it off fantastically. We have buckets. Obviously this is gonna be how we're mixing our resin with our catalyst. Gloves, obviously very important when you're using either the chop strand mat or the resin that you're gonna be wearing gloves all the time. We have some fix all. This is gonna be used to temporarily hold down our trims in place while we fix them with clamp nails. We have a manual stirrer to mix our resins if you wanna do it manually. We have scrim tape. This is going to be used to tape our joints between our OSB and where our trims are leading on to our OSB. We have brushes. These are going to be to paint the top coat and resin obviously around um, awkward parts of the trims where it's not ideal to use your roller. Saying that, we have our two size rollers and roller heads. What we also have are called consolidation rollers. These are what are used after your matting's um, wetted a lot and this will get all the bubbles out and make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, last but not least is our trims. Now trims come in three meter long lengths, so I haven't brought them over here. What I've done is I've got some little offcuts to show you what I've got. So what I have are, this is a curb trim, which will be used for my two short sides and back. And then I have a drip trim, which is obviously gonna be used for my front into the gutter. Thank you for watching part one. In part two, we're gonna be talking about the roof deck, preparing the roof deck and getting our trims installed. See you then.